I am Shyam Asolekar and you are in the class of ES 101. We are recording this session on 12th of October 2023. Today we are continuing our discussion that we started in the last class that is the significance of the imminent environmental threats in the context of environmental laws and policy in India as well as what technology can really help in solving those problems. And we were talking about that it is a triangle and there are pushes and pulls and we were talking about that we wish it was an equilateral triangle but most of the times it is not. And we were also talking about that there are many socio-economic <coughs> factors which are not understood by engineers properly sometimes. A, we do not have enough knowledge about economics. Microeconomics and macroeconomics are different things as you can imagine. Meaning economics of state versus state in India, central government versus government of India versus government of you know any other country. So microeconomics and macroeconomics are two different things and what are their perspectives on so to speak sustainable development which everybody wants. The bigger, biggest question to really answer is how do I really get to that reality or how do I really transition to that reality. Nobody says that I do not want sustainable development but very few people are able to still say that this is the way I can have sustainable development. People can talk about their own development, their own benefit, how to maximize their profit that they can talk about. Every company talks about, every business talks about. But nation cannot take that kind of view, you know that. Nation will be always benevolent and it will be you know do good to people, it will always try to do something benevolent to the community. And uh, a democratic government like India historically past 75 years plus, we have taken a stand, stand that our health depends on the health and well-being of the weakest in the society. Now that who is the weakest in the society can be a very large discussion. You can say women in my country are weakest as Gandhi used to say that he used to say Shudras are there which is a which is a kalank you know which is a blot on humanity he used to say. But even in Shudras family his wife and his daughter is more Shudra than Shudras family that is what he used to say. Metaphorically speaking no matter which community where rich or poor women are not considered equal to men. And which we know even today it is happening and government is all the time making efforts to stop that. Recently our honorable prime minister uh, uh, talked about giving girls free education. Now just yesterday our honorable chief minister of Maharashtra said that we will pay 1 lakh rupees if you are putting your you know, girl child in college. So, you, you, you have all sorts of schemes, all sorts of thought frames so that women you know come up to the speed of men. Rakhiv Maddar Sangh you know the reserved constituencies are there where women are given preference that some of the constituencies are declared as reserved for women and they are also reserved for certain categories of communities. But women constituencies are there even at a panchayat raj a lowest uh, you know building block of our society which is a village panchayat which is exactly the reflection of what is happening in Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha of the state and Lok Sabha of the country that panchayat raj which was you know the amendment of, of India's constitution that building block will be panchayat raj what happens in uh, the village will happen in town, will happen in city, will happen in Delhi. So they, they say in Marathi metaphorically, jo galli mein hota hai, wo dilli mein hoga. So you will always have a kind of uh, reflection of uh, um, you know the larger picture reflected in the smaller picture. So as they say you know ghato ghato mein ishwar. So the reflection of a larger picture is there in every individual. So you want every building block of our country, there are about 5 lakh building blocks, there are 5 lakh villages. 
we want them to be strong so that India will be strong that is what is the basic theory. Now the next amendment was what is true for villages is true for towns also. So Panchayat Raj concepts will be also implemented in towns. So then again there are 26 wards in Mumbai A to Z then ward A is managed like a village or like a town small town and sometimes you, you may be surprised you know place like Mumbai and place like Pawai Tirandaz village and Pawai village and all those other padas around Nahur village all those padas if you take their population probably is larger than many states capital only one uh, you know one, one ward of Mumbai like Pawai which is least populated comparatively. If you go in Kurla or if you go in Ghatkopar, far more population is there in, 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 that, in that ward. But the management, quote unquote, the socio-political you know, management of the, of the ward is done exactly like how we are managing a state from center's perspective or how we are managing a district from state's perspective. Same way we are doing it. So even within Mumbai Municipal Corporation, you have Panchayat Raj type of concept applicable. So these were the, the, if I remember correctly, 72nd and 73rd amendment to India's constitution, which is basically gave sanctity to concept of Panchayat Raj, which is a building block. Literally you have a brick by brick, you build a wall. That is how India is built today on the basis of Panchayat Raj concept. But having said that, until there is a thread in the necklace, the beads will not stay together. There has to be some kind of philosophy, there has to be some kind of common point, there has to be a shared dream, mera bhala ho, sabka bhala ho, something has to be there, isn't it? Only then you can, you can really hope that the system will work. A mera bhala ho system will not work, you know that. Then, then there will be immediately the factions which will start warring with each other. And India, because it is a democratic country, only democratic country after Second World War, the only democratic country in the Third World, which is which was born after Second World War, which is not having any war, nothing, specially started by them. Somebody does aggression, you can't blame Indian Army or uh, India's Prime Minister to call war against them. You can't you can't blame them for that. So anybody will do, uh, you know, the, the protection of the country. But India is not a country which has ever, not even once, ever attacked somebody. India is a pacific country. Shantata Priya Deshe. So that is what is the, is, is the philosophy, non-aligned summit, which Nehru started. And uh, even today's uh, uh, Prime Minister continues that kind of dialogue with the rest of the world, that wherever there is something wrong, they say India is willing to send doctors. India is willing to send nurses, India will send medicines, India will send food, India will send seva workers, you know, for, for promoting peace. So India always believes in peace and we always believes in, believes in harmony. And we are not a country which is, which is going to call shots on people just because of that. But still, the equality in the country remains a dream because you do more and obviously the Prime Minister or Chief Minister would want more again beyond what, what they have achieved so far. So there will be obviously more and more uh, you know, expectations from themselves and that is how democracy will progress. And all that discussion has a underlying principle which is given in constitution. So finally everything boils down to constitutional morality, you understand. You, if you do not understand that constitutional morality, Everything else, else is a barbar. You simply you know it's a, it's a hollow rhetoric. It is not any 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 constructive discussion if we don't understand the morality behind it. And you are old enough now to understand that no matter what we do, there is no differential equation hollow. There has to be a purpose. There has to be a reason of that model. There has to be a reason why you want to do it, isn't it? So always every activity in the community in the society has to have a reason behind it. And those reasons are very clearly recorded by the important documents of the country. Obviously, this you saw yesterday, which is India's constitution. If you really see Article 48A, 
which is a directive principle for the state, it is a policy statement. It says that although constitution is very polite, it says aisa karenge to theek rahega, but then actually the internal innate order is you must do it, it is my order. That is what essentially they are saying. And this first order or this first suggestion is called as a directive principle. So, it is not a direction, it is a principle by which you should measure, you should determine all your actions. It is a directive principle that constitution has laid out. And what is it? State shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the forests and wildlife. You are seeing what I am saying, right? So, three terms here, endeavor, protect, improve. These words are very important, million dollar uh, terminologies. You are saying endeavor. So, it is not a courtesy saptaha huh? or, or some kind of mother's day, you know, it is not like that. So, you are supposed to do it all the time, very honest effort, continuous effort, endeavor. That is the terminology constitution uses for us. Second thing is protect. If you do protect, you will be outside jail, that is all. But that is not enough. You are better than that. And what are we expecting from you? That you will also improve. That is what is, is constitution expecting from you. And always, you know, any concept of God, any concept of principle, any concept of something lofty has to be bigger than you, not easy to achieve. It has to be a path rather than destination, you understand. So, that is very important that you all the time try to strive in that direction and like, like you know um, that Gandhi used to say that peace is not the destination, it is the path. So, like you cannot say that now I have gone to this particular point, now I am peaceful. No, there also there may be a conflict, then you have to doctor yourself, your action and do better than that. Always continuously improve yourself. So, endeavor is a very common principle that is embedded in constitution, all constitution, not only ours. Our constitution is kind of special because Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar like person wrote our constitution. So, not too many people have that kind of that level of intellect writing their constitution. Uh, whenever you will go, all of you will go to USA for one reason or other and you should visit Washington DC and there is called as constitution monument and it is a pink stone column on which at a eye level they have inscribed the preamble of India's constitution. So, it is considered one of the you know the, the tallest uh, uh, constitutional literature created in the in, 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 in free world. And India is always lauded for the, the, the best constitution that many countries uh, probably would like to always have. Two reasons, one is that we are younger country compared to many other countries. Somebody is 350 years old, then we are 75 years old, you understand. So, obviously we are younger. So, being younger has the benefit that you have literature review available, right? You can go, go into other people's literature and you know, improve yourself, that is one thing. Other thing is a great philosophical leadership given by people like Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Rajendra Prasad, Tilak, Patel, you know, fantastic individuals who were, you know, hand and uh, feet in, 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 in freedom struggle, they obviously knew what is right for India and they wanted to bring all those elements in India's constitution. So, obviously, our, our constitution is best of the best and it is not a coincidence because such people were actually behind it. So, we are not surprised as Indians they might feel oh such a great literature, they might say like that, but we know what kind of people are behind it. So, which is a called Samvidhan Sabha constituent assembly was probably the best of the best people in the country. So, obviously, we have such a constitution. What all I am saying here may not be part of your emotional world actually as young people, but slowly you need to understand that there are bigger formations in life which ultimately will govern your actions and your, your consciousness about who you are, which country citizen you are, what is your ultimate objective, what are the problems behind in front of country, how you should stand behind right forces in the country and reverse the, 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 the wrong things. So, these are the kind of things you will have to do one day because you are going to become very important people one day. So, that time this consciousness will help. 
what you are doing today probably is not that important for you. I said, okay, this is syllabus, okay, fine. But later on, you, when you go and want to study it more deeply, you will remember that something like that was spoken. And probably these are the important starting points for me to take the debate further. So what is directive principle telling? It is telling the state and I, as I told you in the last class, state is my institute director, state is my department head and state is the ward officer, elected representative, chief minister or prime minister of my country. All are state, those who are empowered by this government to spend public exchequer for people's good. Those are all state. This is how the, the state is defined in constitution. So, the state has to not only protect but improve the environment. That is what is the basic order given by the which is called as the direct to principle embedded in article 48A of the constitution. Article 51A subpart G is the first amended clause on fundamental duties and which I would want you to actually open your ears and listen to me very carefully. Constitution does not give fundamental duties, it only gives fundamental rights. Why? Because Baba Sahib Ambedkar thought we all Indians are like him, very duty bound people and in lo, achche logon ko duty bolne ki kya jarurat hai, unko to pata hai kya karna hai, kya nahi karna hai. See, I want to do exercise because my doctor wants me to do exercise. But I can't stand here and blow in his nose. I oh, bola hai, mera right hai, kar raha I said, thank you, but just go one, one foot behind so that my nose is not coming in, 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 in your zone of action, right? So, I have a right, but he also has equal right and in order to make sure that he is able to or she is able to enjoy his or her right, I have to restrain my right. So, the principle in constitution and which was basically there were a lot of discussion in Samvidhan Sabha. So, Gandhiji gave a lecture and said, you are not understanding what these fellows are trying to do. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Rajendra Prasad are telling you something which you should really think about and that is you have to be more responsible than you are at the moment. And how is that responsibility? That I not only make sure that I get my rights, but I also equally make sure everybody else gets his or her rights. That is what is being true Indian, that is what Gandhiji said. So, all true Indians will restrain their rights. So, rights is a very good feeling, but I should enjoy them in a restrained manner. So, what I am trying to say that so many other people do other things because of which you are what you are, you understand. So, it is a collective exercise of enjoying freedom, enjoying rights. You cannot have unrestrained freedom and unrestrained rights. If you do that, something terrible will happen. That is what happened actually. That Baba Sahib Ambedkar wanted us to be in particular way. So, with his very vishal, you know, broad thinking, the philosopher, almost like a saint, I would call him today, the kind of intellect that he has, that person forgot that all Indians are not like him. So, he only wrote the, the fundamental rights in the constitution and never wrote any duty in the constitution, never. This was added around 1975 which I am showing you article 51A subpart G and it is a first fundamental duty clause putting in the constitution. You are not going to study constitutional law from me, but you are environmental students, the first fundamental duty inclusion is on environment, that is why I am telling you this. It is very important thing for us to understand that we are not worthy of what Baba Sahib or so many other people wanted us to be in constituent assembly and we you know we really proved ourselves that we are not up to the mark. So, therefore, poor fellows had to raise hands in Lok Sabha and incorporate a new constitutional amendment which is the inclusion of fundamental duty clause. What is the fundamental duty clause in the constitution? It is the fundamental duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment. 
Okay. It says fundamental duty, one important thing. It is fundamental duty that you should love environment. That is what I am telling you. So, it says it is the fundamental duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment including forests, lakes and wildlife and to have compassion for all living creatures. There are two parts basically. One part is like state directive, same similar it is comparable. It says protect and improve, Pakka, one thing is clear that it is not only the responsibility of the state, but it is also the responsibility of the individual private citizen that they must love the environment. Pakka, that is one thing, they should care for the environment, they should protect and improve. But the second part is even more important that is and to have compassion for all living creatures. So, our country's constitution is indirectly remind you, bacha, tumara behavior to dikta nahi mujhe aisa, but do not forget you are the citizen of a great country known as India, which is made the way it is today by Buddha and Gandhi. So, do not tell me that you are more important and more educated than anybody else. So, that behavior is not seen among Indians when it comes to environmental protection. Are you seeing? I am trying to simplify the tension that is in the mind of constitution makers or in the mind of people sitting in Lok Sabha who are empowered in India's constitution to create laws, amend constitution, create regulations and decide how the country will behave and what are the set of principles on the basis of which the country will country will go ahead. So, two things for in private citizens, one thing is protection and improvement number one, number one and number two to have compassion for all living creatures. These are the two things that are that are given in, in, in India's constitution. For clause which is written for common man, so, natural environment is the issue on table, not the, the, the a gulab hai, gulabi gulab, desi gulab or a tulsi. Wo a flood sign karte hai, subha sham. So, and somehow they are trying to give flowers and trying to give some tulsi leaves for puja. Okay. So, that is not what is referred to as, as saving environment. Saving environment is natural environment including forests, lakes, rivers and wildlife whenever the terminology of including comes in constitution or any legal literature including means for example aap bolenge itna hi bola na fir iske baad nahi baaki nahi karunga kuch main you cannot say that including means for example bola hai aapko khud ki creativity lagao aur aur kya add kar sakte karo add is everybody with me so it is simple point but it is important to notice that now it is a part of our constitution now iske baad kya hua I am just hoping that somebody will do more research on this and prove that at least ke baat to kam se kam badle, kam se kam. But this particular provision, Article 48A subpart G, subpart 48A and 51A subpart G have made lot of impact on India's jurisprudence. Jurisprudence means theory of giving justice, theory and practice of giving justice. Court kaisa dekhta hai, kaunse kaunse clauses bolta hai. To Article 21, Article 40, 48A, Article 51A subpart G, lagbhag har ek case mein judge likhta hai ki ye this is my framework and from this standpoint I am giving this judgment. Lagbhag har ek judgment mein ye pakka hota hai. So, there is no doubt that these are very important at least in the mind of minds of judges. So, if you look at the principles given in constitution, how they, do they really translate in terms of understanding the environmental governance or assessing environmental governance in this country. What should you really look for? And these are very important thoughts and slowly you will realize that you will get better thought than that as you become older and as you get more and more experience, you will be able to have your own menu card on this. Mota moti four things I am basically telling you and which is easy, which is worth worthy of noticing at this point, later on you can do more. 
based on your experience. One is the precautionary principle. Precautionary principle is a constitutional concept. What is precautionary principle? Very interesting thing. It says that for a for an issue, let us say there are two or more acceptable, arguable, plausible, समझने लायक, more or less rational answers, more than two. Example. आरे में 2100 स्ट्रीज रातों रात तोड़ दिए किसके लिए मेट्रो थ्री प्रोजेक्ट के कार शेड के लिए अच्छा है क्या बुरा है ये लड़की कहेगी सर हमको तो बम्बई में चाहिए ये कहता है मुझे प्रॉब्लम होता है घर में जाने के लिए आई हैव टू सिट इन बस नाउ आई एम एबल टू गो इन मेट्रो समबडी एल्स कमिंग फ्रॉम कैलकाटा वेरी प्रीमेटिव सिटी आई गेस कंपेयर टू मुंबई हाँ नहीं नहीं अभी कलकत्ता रहा नहीं पहले था तो बट ऑब्वियसली मोर प्रीमेटिव देन मुंबई ना आई लाइक टू कॉल हिम प्रीमेटिव इज इंट इट या सो दैट दैट कलकत्ता सिटी ही कम्स फ्रॉम ही सर बम्बई में अगर मेट्रो नहीं तो फिर कलकत्ता में आएगा क्या पहले तो आपके पास आने दो फिर बाद में हमें ऑटोमेटिकली मिलेगी क्योंकि देन वी विल से वी आर वन टॉप टॉप फाइव सिटीज सो वी विल गेट ऑल्सो द मेट्रो सो डेवलपमेंट तो आनी चाहिए नाउ इफ यू आज कौस तो वाई क्या ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी डेवलपमेंट तो चाहिए ना सो द फेलो हैज ओनली वन ब्रीफ कि चाहिए हमें चाहिए क्वाइट अ फ्यू ऑफ आवर वॉन्ट सर जस्ट लाइक दैट अदरवाइज यू नो यू कैनॉट रियली जस्टिफाई वाई यू वॉन्ट सर्टन थिंग्स बट दोज थिंग्स आर वॉन्टेड बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट देम दैट्स ओनली यू नो फार एंड शॉर्ट ऑफ द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो पीपल विल से आ रहे कि ट्रीज थोड़े तो क्या फर्क पड़ा थोड़े आज तक थे क्या मिला हमको उसे उसको तो कुछ आम तो आते नहीं है आते तो हमें तो मिलते नहीं है तो हमें क्यों चिंता करनी चाहिए वो 2100 ट्रीज की अरे में कितने ट्रीज दे गिनो तो कोई जाके संकल्प जाके गिन के आएगा बोलेगा दो लाख ट्रीज है अरे में अरे जंगल में अरे जंगल का एरिया कितना है बोलेगा दो हजार एकड़ है और हम कितना मांग रहे हैं पचास एकड़ मांग रहे अरे जाने दो ना क्यों झगड़ा कर रहे हो हाँ इतना क्या फर्क पड़ा दो ट्रीज काटे सो वॉट यू वॉट यू विल से इज दैट वॉट इज द इशू अरे में ट्रीज काटे तो काटे At least we are getting um, uh, we are getting uh, metro rail, isn't it? So you are you are you are always hoping that there is a justification, good justification of doing wrong things. And what is that wrong thing? I am saying it wrong thing because that is my opinion. But somebody will say metro to chahiye, so it is right thing for them. So even right and wrong ka bhi ding dong hai, idhar udhar. You understand? not everybody is agreeing on what is right and what is wrong and the extent of wrongness and rightness is even more nebulous than what you you can imagine probably so there is a morality associated with rightness and wrongness of everything in fact morality is like right and wrong ka discussion hai. you understand it is not uh, uh, devoid of that different first order ordinary differential equation humne solve kiya usme kya morality hai ladki correct hai to wrong hai khatam पूरे मार्क दे दो नहीं तो निकाल दो उसके मार्क सिंपल चीज है देर इज नो मोरलिटी इन दैट इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल ओपन एंड शर्ट केस बट लॉर्ड ऑफ मॉरल इश्यूज इन लाइफ व्हाट वी कॉल इज एनवायरमेंटल जुरिस प्रूडेंस थेरी ऑफ गिविंग जस्टिस यू नो एनवायरमेंटल जस्टिस उसमें यू हैव टू अप्लाई द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रिकॉशनरी प्रिंसिपल वट इज प्रिकॉशनरी प्रिंसिपल इफ देर आर मोर देन टू और टू और मोर देन टू plausible arguable correct rational answer of that issue then you shall take only that answer which is pro environment you are going to take only that answer which is pro environment so what are you going to do you are going to say ha kya karna hai 2000 shambhar trees katna hai 2000 shambhar trees nahi katna hai katne ke baad are we going closer to environmental objectives नो देन नहीं काटना है खत्म नहीं बट ये करने से ये फायदा होगा ये कीमत बढ़ेगी यू कैन नॉट इन्वोक द इशू ऑफ बजट मनी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ मनी अदर यू नो इशूज ऑफ राइट एंड रॉन्ग मैं कहूंगा कि ज्यादातर लड़कियां बैठती है उस ट्रेन में तो टू टू प्रमोट वुमेन जस्टिस हमें मेट्रो रेल चाहिए आई कैन ऑलवेज आर्ग्यू लाइक दैट राइट बट देन यू विल से बराबर है लेकिन ये एनवायरमेंट के नजदीक है क्या नहीं है 
नहीं है फिर नहीं करो दूसरा कुछ करो सो प्रिकॉशनरी प्रिंसिपल हैज ओनली वन टेस्ट दैट यू हैव टू टेक अ प्रिकॉशन दैट यू विल बी नॉट गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम एनवायरमेंटल इंटरेस्ट नाउ देर आर वेज बाई वेज नाउ आई हैव स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ माई टाइम स्पेंडिंग मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग मल्टी ऑब्जेक्टिव क्राइटेरिया डिसीजन मेकिंग वट डू आई डू इस एक में ये कॉम्पोनेंट ज्यादा है एक कॉम्पोनेंट कम है एक में ये कॉम्पोनेंट कम है एक कॉम्पोनेंट बहुत ही ज्यादा है एक में ये दोनों भी कम है लेकिन तीसरा टोटल प्रोमिनेंट है जो ये दोनों में नहीं था सो हाउ डू आई रियली असाइन वेट्स एंड कम अप विथ सम नंबर कि भाई इस सोल्यूशन को एनवायरमेंट के लिए सौ में से दस मार्क मिलेंगे और इसको सौ में से पैंतीस मार्क मिलेंगे कम से कम पैंतीस मार्क वाला तो ले लो दस वाला मत लो जज मई थिंक सॉरी इफ फर्स्ट इज मार्क आर देयर यूर बेयरली पास यू कैनॉट गेट इन टू आई आई टी सॉरी विद दिस काइंड ऑफ करियर आई कैनॉट एक्सेप्ट दिस एज अ सोल्यूशन तो ये पूरी चीज ही करनी नहीं है प्रोजेक्ट ही खारिज कर दो एंड दे विल नॉट इवन स्टार्ट द प्रोजेक्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड सो डिसीजन मेकिंग हैज बिकम वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रिकॉशन हैज बीन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन डिसीजन मेकिंग नाउ द मोरलिटी इज वेरी प्रो एनवायरमेंट डू यू हियर वट एम से द मोरलिटी इज रिटर्न नाउ इन सो मेनी वर्ड्स दैट कुछ भी नहीं है कम से कम यू शुड बी प्रो एनवायरमेंट दैट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दी दी कॉन्स्टिट एंड देन इज इंडिया इज द ओनली कंट्री विच सेज नो एट द हेक इन इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑल्सो दिस इज एक्सेप्टेड प्रिंसिपल ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड इन एटीज एटीज एंड अर्ली नाइनटीज दे हैव इनकॉर्पोरेटेड दिस प्रिंसिपल प्रिकॉशनरी प्रिंसिपल एज द कार्डिनल प्रिंसिपल फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंटल जस्टिस ओके किस में दिखता है क्योटो प्रोटोकॉल में दिखता है तुम्हें दिखता है मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल में ओजोन होल के तुम्हें दिखता है हाउ डहाणु थर्मल पावर स्टेशन वाज मॉनिटर्ड एंड व्हाट दे वेर टोल्ड और यू नो दैट वेदर इकोलॉजिकल डैमेज इज एक्सेप्टेबल और नॉट फॉर वट रीजन तो कोर्ट कहेगा ठीक है इफ यू आर कटिंग वन ट्री आई वॉन्ट टू सी नाइन्टी सर्वाइवल of 10 times tree in over 10 years if i see one year in year 7 you cut 100 trees and you don't have 1000 trees now you have 995 wo paanch trees aapko lagane padenge and main tumhare piche jaunga 10 saal and dekhunga ki aap you are 95% survival itna court tumhare piche aata hai and more and more courts are now coming more and more ngos are demanding this kind of behavior from the the decision making from courts so kafi complex decision making related thoughts are coming up because creative people are jumping into the concept of giving justice or defining justice what is right and wrong jurisprudence which is called as huh? so that is the thing so it is not only indian thing internationally it is but india is very very conscientious about applying the precautionary principle second thing is polluter pays पोल्यूटर पेज सबको पता है सबको पता है संकल्प कहता है उसको पता है लेकिन नहीं पता है पानी पीता है बिस्लेरी देखी बॉटल फेंक देता है इज ई पेइंग फॉर दैट बॉटल संकल्प आईटी से ग्रेजुएट होकर निकल जाएगा लेकिन बॉटल तो रहेगी लैंडफिल में यू अंडरस्टैंड सो पोल्यूटर इज नॉट पेइंग वो तो बीस रुपये दे रहा है पानी का उसको बोलना चाहिए भैया अस्सी रुपया बॉटल का है बीस रुपया पानी का है उसके अंदर का बरोबर सो पोल्यूटर डजेंट पे सो पोल्यूटर पे इज मे बी एन एक्सेप्टेबल प्रिंसिपल टू एवरीबडी बट मॉनिटरी एनोलॉग ऑफ दैट इट विल गेट इवॉल्व एज यू मोर मोर एंड मोर यू अंडरस्टैंड द लाइफ साइकिल असेसमेंट एंड द लाइफ साइकिल कॉस्ट ऑफ इट डू यू हियर वट एम से यू नीड टू हैव ए लार्जर पिक्चर ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज दिस होल थिंग एज polluter pays sudhir badami the older person and the younger person kurt jacob our friends so they are going to be your teachers uh, sometime you know after after durga puja so polluter pays i was i'm telling you right polluter pays right but how much pays what is pays who is polluter is a larger question do you hear what i'm saying and society will have to come up with better answers as time progresses कोई प्रोफेसर है अर्बन स्टडीज वाले प्रोफेसर प्रदीप कलबार उनकी तो दिल की तसली होती ही नहीं 
थोड़ा पीछे जाएंगे और पीछे जाएंगे और पीछे जाएंगे फाइनली आई ऑलवेज टीज इम आर यू गोइंग टू गो इन टू दी सम सॉल्ट वाटर ऑफ ओशन और आर यू गोइंग टू गो इन सम यू नो सैंड ऑफ ओशन एंड देन यू से दैट दिस इज द लास्ट पॉइंट दैट आई हैव रीच्ड बिकॉज लाइफ साइकिल कॉस्टिंग एंड लाइफ साइकिल असेसमेंट इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स थिंग फॉर हिम बट ही हैज एबिलिटी टू गो बैक एंड बैक एंड बैक सो कोई रॉ मटेरियल का रॉ मटेरियल उस रॉ मटेरियल का और रॉ मटेरियल तो उसको तो खड्डा ही करना पड़ेगा ना ऑलवेज एट टीज हिम अभी इतना खड्डा खोदोगे तो यहाँ से इतना खड्डा नीचे जाओगे तो सिडनी में आ, आ जाओगे पूरा अर्थ को पूरा एक शाप बन जाएगा अर्थ में बट यू नो खोदते रहता है खोदते रहता है सो दैट दैट इज द राइट वे ऑफ डिटरमाइनिंग हाउ मच शुड बी पेड एंड हु पेज दिज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दिज आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रीडल्स यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड देम बिकॉज यू आर स्मार्ट पीपल यू आर नॉट ऑर्डिनरी पीपल तीस रुपया दे दिया शुगर ले ली वो शेतकरी जो है फार्मर उसके ऊपर अन्याय हो गया ना ये चलेगा नहीं आई आई टी डैट यू आर यू आर यू माइंड अबाउट दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो इनजस्टिस देर आर टू मोर प्रिंसिपल्स पीपल फर्स्ट एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज द रूलर विच वी विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके नेक्स्ट क्लास आवर टी ए कस्तु मंडल विल कम एंड टीचर्स एयर पोल्यूशन क्लेम तो करता है ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट में काम करता है थोड़ा पढ़ा है आप लोगों को ना एयर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल पे बात करेगा स्टैक चिमनी के बात पर बात करेगा हेल्थ इम्पैक्ट के बारे में बात करेगा बहुत कुछ चीज़ों में अकल चलती है उसकी तो लेट एस सी हाउ ही टेक्स इट सो वील गिव हिम टू थ्री सो यू विल फिनिश इट बिफोर यू गो फॉर दुर्गा पूजा ना जब बाद में आने के बाद तो काम करने के लायक नहीं रहोगे इतना खाओगे वहाँ जाके बरोबर तो ही विल ही विल कंप्लीट दैट मॉड्यूल बिफोर ही गोज अवे सो दिस क्लास इज डिसमिस्ड थैंक यू